How's it going guys, it's your Deeb here and it's time for episode number 32 of my Let's Play HUD series. As you can see, as in every episode, I am showing you my team. I still haven't decided on who I'm going to get to replace Duchesne. I think I've narrowed it down to Stanley Cup Edition Mike Richards and Stanley Cup Edition Bergeron since they do look the uh, the better of the two uh, players that all of you guys recommended. Anyways, we go into our first game. This guy's got uh, Red Bull jerseys and to start off, he, I would get a chance in the first minute we get a goal. And guess what? He quits. Well, it's kind of seeing seeing it. Uh, we go, we end up playing him again, and he doesn't mind playing me again because I know he's gonna win. And going into this, it always happens to me. Whenever someone quits on me in the first minute, they play again and they win. He would make it two nothing before the first ends, and actually he would get another one just for uh, some emphasis right there. Okay, look like goalie interference a little bit, kind of push my goalie there. Well, that's right. We're down three nothing. Rick Nash gets a chance. It's blocked. Kessler put in the deflection. To make it three to one, and he gets a nice goal here by Havlad to get it past Star League Ben Bishop, which I don't think is all worth all the hype. Bork we make it five one, and then Myers would get a chance, take a clapper, and Nash with a nice bat in from midair. But we lose that five to two, uh, 442 EA pucks from that game. And going to our next game is Jay Blaze, uh, zero five one four. And this guy had a really really good team, uh, but to start it off, Myers would take the puck in. Feed it across for Hall, and that would put it away to make it one nothing. Then, still in the second period, uh, somehow I wasn't able to move there, and Gabber could poke it in to make it one one. Then he gets a chance here. Lemieux would shoot it across Miller, and that would make it two to one. And with about 40-ish seconds left in the game, actually 50, 50 something, Kessler would put it away to make a two to two nice feed by uh, Nash there, who's actually playing great with the uh, goals and assists. This one went to shoot on Sly, neither kind of a Jack Ash shot, but. So Lonnie would score the game winner, 559 EA pucks from that game. We win that 3-2 in a shootout. We'll Going to our next game against Mastaki. And this guy's got a Red Wings logo and jersey. And to start off, he'd make, make a nice breakout pass to Sagan, who'd feed it across from Marlowe, and that would make it one nothing for him. Then we come back the other way. We're in the third, about 10 seconds left. Nash gets the puck, and he snipes it. What a shot by Nash. That would make it 1-1. We're shorthanded in overtime. Edler will pick up the loose puck, and a nice shot by Kessler to get the uh, defense out of the way. And Edler will put it away, no mistake there. We win that 2-1 in OT. 511 EA pucks from that game. Miller once again in that in that for that game. So, well, next game, this guy's got uh, Dallas Stars jerseys, and that's this guy actually asked me if I was on YouTube. It's always nice getting recognized, uh, considering a couple months ago I was nobody. But he, I would start off with a goal with Grabowski there to make it one nothing. A good start, and Grabowski's been playing pretty well. A lot of people are asking me to, to sell him, but I think I'll keep him for the long run. Nice feed by Hall to Grabowski, and that make it two to nothing. Second goal of the game. He goes back the other way. A nice uh, breakout pass there, and he's not going to make any mistake there. Two to one. Then we come back the other way, and Duchesne will put it away. A nice feed by Lucic to make it 3-1. to one. And right after that, Neil takes a clapper and gets past Miller. A weak goal, but we'll take the win. 3-2, to two, uh, 562 EA pucks from that game. I, uh, I, I realize the puck bonuses are really small because I'm not playing during double pucks. And as we go into our next game, Voracek will get the goal there. Uh, to start off shooting across Miller. Then Nash will come in, powers it in to make it 1-1. One, one. He comes around the other way. Feeds it in front for Voracek, and Kovalchuk gets the bat in. A kind of a weak goal there because I couldn't do anything about it. That's a computer play right there. And then here another Kovalchuk bat in play to make it three to one. But we fought back. There's uh, just about over five minutes left, and nice play there by uh, Lucic to feed it for Duchesne. He put it away, and then Berchi gets a lucky bounce to make it three to three. And this game went to OT once again. Another penalty, but this time we we didn't get the same luck. Zajac passes it. He hits Miller, and as as he hits it, Miller's doing that animation where he pushes it to the side, and he actually pushes it into his own net. So unlucky there. We lose that four to three. About three goals that weren't my fault necessarily, but four to seventy five pucks. We go into the next game. This guy's also got a pretty good team. And to start it off, Kessel with a nice way to walk in there and snipe it to make it one nothing. Yeah, good job by Hall here to circle around and find Solani wide open in front to make it two to nothing. And then he goes back the other way with Pavelski, and the uh, back and forehand works for him two to one. And with just about 40 seconds left in the third, Marlow will put it away to tie up at two. This one went to a shootout, and with Bishop in net, we weren't able to stop the uh, I think seventh round shot. So he would win that three to two, 480 pucks from that game. We we'll go in our next game against X Snipe X, Mr. Sam Loney 97. And this guy actually had an All Leafs team. I was pretty impressed. I've played a couple like All Boston teams, but never an All Leafs team because th 
the, the quality of the players, I mean, they're good in real life, but in, d in, in terms of NHL, you can't really get a good, good quality of players. Anyways, Cronwell to start off the scoring. He come back the other way with Kuhlman to make a one-to-one -one on the power play. But before the first ended, a nice feed by Hall for, to Kessel, and Kessel would snipe it past that. Uh, I think he has Gustafson in net, actually, so he's still got to get that Rhymer. A nice feed, another nice feed by Hall to Duchesne, and that would make it 3-1. to one. Then uh, Weber would end up getting the puck from Johnson, and he would find himself some create some space and a big clapper to put it away, 4-1. to one. And just for some added emphasis, two minutes left, Edler with a nice couple moves, and he just takes a clapper top cheddar right there, 5-1, win 642 EA pucks, Miller in net for that one. So Bishop still 0-2 so far in this episode. I don't know, if I think we've had one win maybe with Bishop so far. So he's not the goalie he turns out to be. We go in the next game. This guy's the game I actually lost to 3-2 to two in a shootout. Uh, so, and this t this time around, I didn't get the same luck. He would c go off to a 3 nothing lead and never look back, winning that one 3 nothing. 394 EA bucks from that game. So that's the end of episode number 32. A lot of episodes we've gone through, and... Uh, Sorry about not uplo not uploading yesterday. I actually had a had to write uh, my final online for my co-op co-op course placement. So uh, I actually go to university in a uh, co-op program, which means I alternate between four months of school and four months of work experience. So I had I also have a course for that work experience. So I had to write the final yesterday. So sorry about not uploading, but don't worry, I will be back with the uploads. I actually have a RDFC episode planned. For later today as well as maybe maybe Mikael Pedersen I still have to get a couple games in but we'll see how it goes uh, but yeah so we have 17,621 bucks quite a bit I'm really liking my team right now I think the only upgrade I can make is over Duchesne uh, go after Stanley Cup Edition Bergeron or Stanley Cup Edition Mike Richards I've cut it down to those two because they do look like the best uh, all-around players for my team they do have speed and they have they have pretty good defense so that's always a good thing to have anyways I'll leave uh, if anyone wants to sell me them, I could make a combo deal with, let's say, a Duchesne and a couple of pucks in there. But what I can do is I'll post a comment at, right when I upload this video. I'll post a comment, Stanley Cup Edition Richards and Stanley Cup Edition Bergeron. Whoever you want me to get, you got to like that comment. So whatever, whoever gets the most likes by the end of Thursday night... That's who I'm going to end up getting, and I'll have the episode out on Friday uh, with the double puck. So anyways, that's... Uh, let's take a look at our team leaders before we leave off. And as you can see, Neil still leads the team in points. He's still got that reign over Solani. But Solani's just one point behind, so he might be able to catch up with him in the next episode. Solani's got also 60 goals. Uh, first one to hit that mark for our team to overtake Neil. And he's got 60, Solani's got 62 assists, but Neil's got 66. Still hold the team lead. So the ne legacy of Neil lives on. Maybe I'll uh, pick, end up picking up like a Stanley Cup edition Neil over to replace the Lucic, who is playing pretty good for my team right now. I can't complain. But uh, uh, a better replacement over him wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mind that. So anyways, that's the end of episode 32. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, uh, a like is appreciated. Comment who you guys want to want me to get, either Stanley Cup Edition Bergeron or Stanley Cup Edition Richards, and uh, just thumbs up that comment. I, I'm probably not going to branch off between those. I know a couple said, people said Spezza, uh, Gets Laugh, and I can't remember the others, but those are all good suggestions, but right now I feel like uh, a player with really, really good D to help out uh, the penalty kill, because I have Kessler for now, and another guy like that would really help out the team. So anyways, once again, thumbs up those comments. Who you guys want me to get, I'll uh, end up making my decision at the end of Thursday night. And I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thanks very much. Hope you guys have a great week, great weekend coming up, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Follow me on Twitter for the latest updates on my videos.